Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithers.com, and I recently had a chance to check out Istanbul on the Switch. Uh, ported over from a company whose details will be found in the description. Istanbul is a board game about, uh, I guess, uh, traversing a marketplace. It's, I think it's one of those games where people call it like a worker game where you have units or assistants that you kind of place in different parts of the marketplace in order to make certain transactions uh, for you in order to earn rubies to to finish the game. So uh, at 425, Suzanne was nice enough to uh, walk me through the game as it's kind of complex. So I appreciate her time in doing that. It is fun, it, but it is a little complex. So and the video is kind of long, but if you want to get into this game, it's probably worth at least watching like the, well, I should say worth watching at least, but it's worth watching, but if you want to understand how the game works, she I ask a lot of silly questions up front, and she answers I think just about all of them, and that really helps. Uh, so yeah, Istanbul. Uh, it's one of the many board game to switch conversions that have happened, are happening, will be happening, so on and so forth. I know Catan is coming in June or July. There's a lot of them. Uh, it works. I think it works fairly well. Now, keep in mind, this is from someone who has not played the original uh, board game. But I did find it fun. I believe there is a sort of pass the controller, pass the switch mode. Obviously, we're playing online, so it does work online. There's some interesting things that need to be tweaked, like like my switch uh, pro controller. You can't control the main menu. Uh at least you can't right now. I believe a patch is a patch should be out very shortly to correct that. So you need to use the actual screen to pick whether you're going to play a game <laughs> uh, online or not. But that's fine. Um, there's a workaround, but I, but they are they are aware of the issue and it should be resolved uh, probably by the time you see this video. I'm thinking maybe if the patch will be up by then. And there was no music during the multiplayer game, which I thought was weird. There is music during the game when you play, like, solo. I'm assuming it's also music when you play with the past the controller or past the, the Switch mode. But I didn't recall any music <laughs> during this game. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, but either way, uh, I found the game to be... Pretty good. I mean, I, not pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was. I thought it was fun. Once I kind of learned what the strategy is supposed to be and how far I am from it, uh, definitely had a different appreciation for it. So, enough rambling. Uh, yes, here's our time with the game. And yes, that's it. You'll hear my voice, but in it, you know, in context, actually playing Istanbul. And I'm not going to say constant. Anyway, yeah, enjoy. <gasps> I see you joining. This is very exciting. All right. Board layout is random. Neutral assistance. No. You can have neutral assistance? Yeah, you can have neutral assistance. It's one of the nice things about this game is that they added a lot of um, options for you to mix up the basic gameplay. No female characters? What? Yeah, I think there are. Oh, I don't stay off like men. It's considering you. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Yes. Maybe we should attack this. Okay, uh, if I hit A, it'll abandon, so I think Ready it's to all... Ready to yep. Start game. Yep, whoa, let, let's do whoa, this. Oh, oh, it's happening. This is very exciting. still don't hear any music, though. Why don't I hear any music? Okay, it's currently Aaron's turn. Second player, a uh, two-player game. There are a few differences in playing a two-player game. The game and is triggered. One player clicks. I thought it was five rupees. It's six. For two, it's oh, they stretch out a little bit more. Ah, okay. Oh, they scale. And you hear music now. I hear nothing but you. You're okay. The mellifluous voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wanted. I just wanted to understand why I don't hear anything just yet. But okay. All right. So, can you see my cursor thing moving? Or no, I cannot. Oh, you can't see anything that I'm doing, but you can see the the level layout. I can see the board layout. Yeah. So if you have questions, so you, you start off in, I, and I'm super bad with, let's see, does it let me figure out, like, I'm super bad, the fountain. Oh, yeah, it does say that. Cool. So we start off in the fountain, right? Yeah, I see the fountain. And, and you you have your little stack, and 
this is always where you can go back to call your assistants back to you if they've gotten spread out and you can't go back and collect them effectively. And you can, you'll see that we have a random board layout, but the places mm -hmm. where you can collect rupees have that little rupee symbol in the bottom left. Yes. So that is that is a place you can can go to do it. So there's different ways that you can get those rupees. Like the one on the far right, you have to trade in those resources mm -hmm. to get those rupees. Now, what is the fifth resource that looks like the Windows logo? That's wild. It can be any one of the basic okay. four. Okay, yep. gotcha. Um, the one in the column to the left, uh, like the second from the right, mm -hmm. uh, I, for, I guess I could tap on him and see what his, I, see, I'm really the gemstone dealer. That one, you literally just pay coins. 15 coins in order. Yep. Okay, I only have two coins. How come you get more, more one more coin than me? Because I don't get to go first. Oh. oh. You get to go first. Oh, so the, the, oh, the first person always gets more, okay, more resources, technically. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, you have more freedom because you're gonna go to a place and if I wanna go to that place, I have to pay. Oh, so you'd have to pay. So if you had to pay me two, you'd have no money left at all. So see. Gotcha. Um, you can increase your storage through the wheelbarrow at the wing right, which is the um, the far left column, the second up, where the with the ruby symbol. And there's seven dollars for each upgrade. Is this upgrade always seven, or does it go up to fourteen, twenty-one? It, you know, I should know the answer to that. I think it's. I don't remember. I think it's always seven, but I don't remember. I don't know. I've, I've only played two games. I think it was always seven, too, but I was always broke. So it may as well have been 14. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting because I've definitely seen people win without fully upgrading their wagon. Um, that seems. So, is that is that breaking the game, sort of? To what? To win without being able to carry more resources. That seems like that would be. No, not fully upgrading. You usually have to upgrade somewhat. At least once. But yeah, but like okay. I. My gut is always to upgrade a lot, and then I find that sometimes I just don't need it. Um, and yeah, you may, I, I find sometimes you can over collect resources where you can't spend them efficiently. So, you know, that's the game. Okay. So you're gonna be jumping around, you're gonna be, and so you know the basics of the game, right? Where you have your, your merchant mm -hmm. and a stack of assistants. You can move up to two orthogonal spaces away. And when you get to that place, you are going to take the action there. So some of them, like the ones that have a little uh, resource icon that says max, it'll just, you'll get resources, that resource up to the max that your wagon can hold. Mm -hmm. um, there's the jail on the far right where you can pick up, a, where you can break your family member out of jail essentially and send them someplace to take an action for you. But then I can, like, if you do that, then I can go and catch them and send them back to jail. Well, what do you get for capturing them? Um... You you do get an award. I think you get a card. We'll have to see when I capture uh, your family member. I think you get a card or some money or something like that. Okay. Did they? Uh, why, why are they in jail? Just for, like randomly, like hey, they're in jail. Like, maybe they didn't pay their taxes fully. Maybe they had a typo on their taxes. I did and, my taxes yesterday. It was depressing. Oh my gosh! Don't even start with me. I gotta. I have to file for an extension. I just, there's no way. I've never owed. I have not owed. I don't think I've ever owed before in my life. And I oh it's this is nuts. Oh, that hurts. That's oh. that's a pain point. Oh yeah, I feel but like. th that's that's a whole nother. I'm sorry. That's that's, that's not Istanbul related. Um, yeah, it's not. Just um, to go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So you're just gonna you basically want to go around collect resources or collect money. Resources can be turned into money. There are the places where you can get little tiles that boost you. There's a place in the upper right where you can get cards that can be like one-off little bonuses that you can use. Um, all, but you have to remember, the thing that you, you have to remember about Istanbul is it's a racing game. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, it's the first person to get that sixth ruby that wins, period. It doesn't matter how great you're playing. If you don't get that ruby, it doesn't matter. So um, you want to keep that in mind as well. So you're going to pick up your duty dude, your merchant, and go to, up to two spaces away, and then you get that action. Um, the little purple pillar, so just to the left of the fountain... You're going to get a pineapple, a green thing, whatever that is, and then two coins. But then the little purple pillar is there as well. And that is, um, that will give you a card as well. You'll get a choice card. So, and, and that little purple guy moves around, um, but he's there right now. So you kind of get a bonus for going there. Similarly, there is a little pillar that has 
the wild resource symbol and it's on the fountain right now so if you go to the space where that duty dude is you will get a wild resource so our uh, resource of your choice so those little pillars move around and there are little bonuses that you can collect too as you go but they just move around randomly so i can't like predict where they'll be right gotcha um so you just need to pick out mm -hmm. where i'm going where you want to go and where you want to start <laughs> like i wouldn't go straight up where you would trade 15 coins for ruby because you, you don't, don't have 15, 15 coins. coins the gambling thing is interesting where you can like mm. gamble like different tiers and change the range of the numbers you need to get to get more money i've not been successful with that i am very bad at it and uh, anything that involves dice rolling i will notoriously not do well on it so I, well you know sometimes i was just broke and i had to just do it to get a little bit of money mm -hmm. to like Mm -hmm. just to continue on uh mm -hmm. just one last question before we get started uh do you remember what the the property the the small mosque of the red properties of like the oh no that's not red that's a different one what's the one where you like buy the property what, which one oh, oh right 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 so we have that um in the upper left and ah. then on the bottom row so when you go there you have to and they get more expensive, so it's you kind of want to get it there earlier to get them cheaper. So in the upper left, there's you can trade in two blue resources, and you unlock an extra assistant. Or you can trade in two yellow resources, and then you can pay two coins um, to move an assistant back freely. And so then, what does that mean, and what is the advantage of that? I know it's a silly question. I, I, I never wanted to, like... But what, what does that mean? Move an assistant back. Well, because like, your assistants are all spread out, right? And your assistants are your actions. Mm -hmm. So if when you go to a place to take that action, you have to leave an assistant there. Well, if you are stuck in a, a corner or if you're stuck on a space and you don't have an assistant, um, you can travel to a space that you have an assistant and pick it up there. Mm hmm. But sometimes that's not even possible. I've, you can back yourself into a corner. So by being able to pull an assistant back, you can pull one from a distant place and maybe make your, your path more efficient. Because uh. Istanbul is really about pathing efficiency because you want to go around the board and drop assistance off. And then you you want to you wanna pace it well so that you can get back to the fountain and pull them back in, which takes a whole action. Or where you can go back around and pick them up and when you pick them up, you get the action again. So um, uh, sometimes okay. being able to call an assistant back to you can really help. It could fill in the gap so you can, so if you mapped yeah. out what it, you want to do action wise, yeah. you, you keep your yeah. flow and then you, okay. I yeah, guess- keep your flow, I like that, yep. And in the bottom, in the bottom row, you mm -hmm. have the red and the green ones, the small mosques. So ah. the you can turn in two red resources. Well, it, again, it gets more expensive and um, you can, Reroll a die. And then the green one. Shoot, what does the green one do? Let's take a look here. Uh, the nice thing about Istanbul is that there are little info buttons on every tile and they're actually very good. So, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, there is the minus button. Yeah. yeah. Uh, take one mile special ability to do so. Your wheelbarrow must carry the goods that are depicted on the mosque tile. The acquire quantities, then pay one of the depicted goods. Okay, you must have one copy. You must only have one of each tile. You may only have one of each tile, excuse me. As soon as you acquire both tiles of one mosque, you gain one ruby. You can also only get one ruby from each mosque. Okay. So you have to complete both of these to get the ruby on this tile. Yeah, you have to Not get both. just one. Yep. I have to upgrade for the Wainwright, for the wheelbarrow. I have to upgrade it once to get the the ruby or twice probably just once on the green one on the small mosque oh no this is the wheelbarrow one the upgrade oh, the, the wayne right yeah. uh you pay seven coins and you get one extra slot yeah but does that give me the ruby or i have to upgrade all the way to get the ruby uh by upgrading it to um as soon as you complete your wheelbarrow for the third time, so up to a level uh, five. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta keep going. Okay, I yep, figured that yep. seemed too easy just to spend seven coins yes. in this, especially when this right. guy's selling one for 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. The used, the used wheelbarrow salesman. Okay, so I'm very, I'm still very new to this. The car, I still don't understand the car, the bonus car thing. They just 
you just do what they say or yeah th there's a variety of them and typically what will happen is that they'll come up in a display and there'll be like some open ones or draw a face down one and typically i think you get two and then you can you keep one and you discard one so if you like the cards that are face up um you just draw one and draw another one and then just discard the one you don't want. If you don't like either of the face-up ones, you can draw face down and hope you luck into the one that you want and then keep that one and discard it. Um, mm. That's typically what happens in, in the cards. Okay. And the cards can do things like some give you a wild resource or some let you re-roll or things like that. They can be pretty handy, but they don't give you rubies. So... They can Again, assist you in getting one, but they, they don't they directly... They can assist you in getting one, but, like, you really have to decide. Yeah, I think that's a style of play and a risk-reward thing for sure. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I've asked enough silly questions, and I guess it's my turn. Um, I'm not going to let this game have a flow, really, so I'm just going to go for resources that I see. <laughs> that's a great way to go. That's... So I think this is... what. The... What is this? It's like the red stuff meat. The red stuff meat. Like the. Uh, uh, it's fabric, I think. Oh, I, don't know, I thought. Why did I say meat? I don't know what I'm thinking. Are you hungry? Is it, is yeah, it I think I am. Time? Yeah. Tea time. Oh, all right, I'm ending my turn. So. Okay, so I see that you went down and you maxed out on your meat. <laughs> yeah, my, my my meat fabric. <laughs> your meat fabric. All right. Well, I am going to go. I am going to go do, do, do here, and I'm going to get me some salad, some fruit salad. Okay, so you're going to the, the green pistachio bowl, that's what I'm calling it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I've carried out that action, and now I can do that. I am encountering. Oh, now I get to start my encounter. With, I am going with to. With who? <laughs> well, so I'm on the purple pillar spot. Oh, I thought you went to the other one. Okay. No, I didn't. So I'm going to draw a card. What's this one do? I drew a card and it says if you carry out the, you have to, but you may use other types of goods. Ooh, what's this one do? And then this one is if you carry out the action of the post office. I don't like the post office action. I'm going to discard this one what do you have against the post office what did it ever do to you uh, yeah i'm just i'm just gonna say packages have been lost and damaged and i'm very sad okay and then the pillar moves and it's your turn so i got me some salad all right oh you have a nice mix you have a pineapple and a bowl of pistachios mm. shell Ooh. on so. pistachios sound good pistachios yeah, are snacking. good well we're in different time zones so it's lunchtime here yeah, it's like pick up kids some school time here. Uh, what is advantageous me to do? Um, so, for example, you go to the left and pick up that red tile right now because you have the two fabric needed to pick up that tile. That's true, which which makes gets me halfway there for that ruby. It does. Or you could you can you know you can move two around or whatever, so you can go up to two. Now you don't want to go. You could go where I am. Mm -hmm. But I have to pay but you if I go there, right? You pay if you go there, and you're already maxed out on your fabric. So you would get, right now, you would get a pineapple and a fabric and two coins, but you can't carry any more fabric, so that would be inefficient. So I would, I'd be better off going the one above you and then getting the max for the pistachios and then coming back down here to Correct, get the ruby. but I believe that the one above me is out of your range. Oh, it is now. I, I'm just I'm pretending like I'm planning what I'm going to do. Nice, nice. I have to spend all the money I have. Mm -hmm. uh, you you do? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. It. Okay. I, I, Where I are went, you trying to go? I went to the one, the small mosques on the lower mm -hmm. level. You shouldn't have to pay. You pay oh. your resources. Oh. Why isn't that letting me pay with the fabric? It should. It says pay all and has two coins. And it has. I can press A and go to paint all. Um. That's weird. It's not giving me the option. Oh, wait. There's there's a merchant there. There is a enemy merchant there. Do you see the little circular guy in the oh. sky? 
Ooh. So that's who you're paying. So actually, it's not. I mean, you can pay the coins, go there, so you can get the tile. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's like a that's the two player thing, right? Because there's only two players, they put out these random neutral merchants to block us and. Oh, us. so this is making me spend money. Well, the thing yep. is to get. Well, so what am I? What am I getting? Am I still getting? You're you're getting to use that spot. But essentially, the merchant is standing there going, "You want to use this market? This is my market. You got to pay me to use it." So by paying the the merchant you get the right to use that spot. You get the right to trade in your fabrics to get that tile. Uh, so am I better off just waiting? Um, I don't know how, I don't know the rhythm of how they move, to be honest, so I don't know. Oh. Well, if I do that, this is all my money. <laughs> That's everything. Yeah, uh, you'll have to go gamble or something. I don't want to gamble. <laughs> uh, I could get just get some pineapple. And maybe hope that he moves. Mm -hmm. But then you'd move down there and get it. Well, but I look at my resources. I'm not threatening you for those. Like the, the nice thing about that for now is that you can see I don't have the resources. Oh, you have that. no fabric. But right. You, but you. Uh, but oh, you mean you only have one of the. So I'm just gonna leave my assistant here and take some pineapple. Great. And end my turn. I'm sorry. This is probably the slowest game of Istanbul you ever played in your life, but I'm. I'm new to it. No, and it's a little awkward to like teach without pointing to everything. And I really didn't go through like every tile. I just kind of assumed a base knowledge that you had. So apologies that I didn't really. No, no, no you explained something. a lot. Um. All right. So I've got a little bit of solid. Why is there no sound? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> is it because I don't. Um. Oh, I don't want to resign. I, it doesn't let me do settings. Maybe it's because I have my sound off. I that's I don't know. That's a weird one. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, <sighs> we could sing. I gave my love a chicken that had no bone. <laughs> that's a real song. I forgot the rest of the. It's it's an interesting song. I just knew uh, it from the Simpsons. Easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Here. How do I? Okay, so I'm going to leave my assistant here. And I'm going to select. Uh, what am I going to give? I'm going to give them green. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to take. I'm going to take red. And then I'm going to roll the dice so i went to the spot where you can get blue of course shh, i got one that's actually good now actually i've completed all my actions oh so you so gave I've... up one you give up any resource roll the die to get the ring no no you get a resource and then you roll the die to get a ring oh that's nice so look at me i'm at the one of e everything oh uh, of course this neutral merchant is still there mm -hmm. uh. it might not move until you use it or you use it. Or I use it. <laughs> or, yeah. so, remember, I think the tiles underneath it go up to four. And you can only carry up to two. So grabbing them while it's two might be worth the coin because you're going to have to upgrade your wagon twice to even have a shot at getting that tile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I only have one option, really. I just have the two fabrics. I don't have the two pistachio bowls. Vegetable bowls, whatever. Well, you got pineapple. I mean, you can worm your way up to the upper left, but the merchant's there too. Wait a minute. I only, only wanted one. What was I thinking? Okay, and of course, then it moved on. Okay. So, yeah. You're right. You're right. It, it was waiting for me to throw a couple of, of coins. Yeah. Alrighty. What do I have here? I. Really, 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 really want some coins. Oh, the merchant moved to where I want to go. Oh, you sneaky, snacky snooker. I am <sighs> displeased. I can feel your sympathy over the internet. No, I'm just then looking at the one that the that you were that you were at before with the pineapple and the fabric. Is mm -hmm. that is that just giving? I just get those resources if I go. You do. And if you look at it, the post office, they get better. So going there early, you actually want to, 
the, the you actually the when when I so let's say I, I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna take it so I get the red um, yes I will pay the neutral merchant and I will take that and now I will end my turn the the what you get at the post office actually gets better until it gets to the end and then it resets back to the weaker stuff so it's interesting the later in the the more it gets used the better it gets and if you can time it so you get there when it's really good that's all the better for you yeah what happens or if, if you have a sucker like me that uses it early what happens if i have an encounter and i don't have any money to give them i don't think you can do it uh. Okay, so you maxed out on your screenies. What do I have? All right. Now, see, you went and did the thing, which is aggravating to me. That means it's good for me. You're oh, welcome. Oh, yay. Oh, you're such a, such a sweetheart. I'm going back here. So what you're going to see is I'm going back to the black market mm -hmm. where I have an assistant. So that's the one where you get a resource and you roll the dice to get a blue. So I'm going to back there. I have an assistant there. What happens when I go back there is I actually pick that assistant up. And then I also get to take that action. Mm. So that is another way that you can... No! No! This stupid game I rolled badly and I don't get the blue resource I really wanted. Um, so that's another way um, you can hop back around and pick up your assistant. So you can take actions by dropping assistants off. Or picking them up. Or you can, if you're just too spread out, you can always go back to the fountain and, and call them all back to you. My first ruby. Yay. That's probably the best thing I'll do this game. <laughs> Shh, Nikes. Hold yeah, on. you made those, like, super expensive. All I did That's was play it. I got one ruby. I'm good. <laughs> Although I need five more. But... Well, I'm making the yellow one. Oh no, there's a merchant here. Why are you so... St I hate you, merchant. All right, end turn. So I got my yellow card. I made pineapples expensive for you. Hey. Oh, oh cry me a river. All right, where am I going? Uh, I have absolutely no money. I see that. I can see that. So let me take a trip to the post office. There's the tea house. They're just waiting for you. Where, where's the tea house? That is the upper row. Mm -hmm. Second second in from the right. With the two turbaned guys sitting over the tea table. Oh. Oh, that, I always think of that as the gambling one. Just because yeah, of you know, the... Tea, gambling, it's all good. So see, you got... Okay, now... Oh, now there's that juicy blue resource down there. Oh, Aaron... Okay, what do I got? I got, I have two green, a blue. Oh, I don't have two yellows that I need to go buy that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I can't stay on the tile I'm on, so I can't no. like acquire <laughs> more. Well, the fabric would be a waste. I can't fit it. But I can't acquire one ring and three coins by just staying here, can I? No. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so I am at the tea house, and I am I'm doing the gambling thing where I can adjust. What I think I can roll. Suzanne, do the thing. I'm doing the thing. And now I'm going to roll. So I need to roll a seven or better on two dice. Um, and I did not. Oh, yeah. That always, that one. I rolled a five. That one always gets me. Shazbot. All right. That was. I'm disappointed. I like the fact that you just said Shazbot. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, where am I going? I don't have 15 coins. My assistants are pretty... Yeah, you definitely don't have 15 coins, friendo. My coins are kind of... And let's point out, it's not 15, it's 17, because there's that merchant sitting there. The neutral merchant move there. Oh, he makes it even more. So... That's not very neutral, then. That's a misnomer. That that's, <laughs> that seems less than neutral, I'll be honest with we you. We should call them, what, the aggro merchants. Something like that. Okay, I need a ring to get that coin. For... Oh, no, I wouldn't get the coin, because the merchant's on there, the random merchant. Uh, I don't have two blue resources, so I can't do anything there. I do have two coins to let me get the move to let me move one of my people around. But I don't know what I, was, I don't know what I can really do. Well, let's see. You are there, so you have. You, first of all, you're out of you're out of assistance. 
That I am. So am I better so, off moving back to the fountain and have everybody come back in? You can go to the fountain and call everybody back to you. That is definitely an option. Yeah. But it gives you an option. So I can choose specific ones. Or... Yeah. I. Yes. Hmm. What's the advantage of choosing... Of choosing? And, and how many can you choose? Um, I... I don't ever do that. You can arguably... I guess you could plan a path. I mean, if you're if you are really thinking ahead, you can path plan and leave a assistant out where you know you'll need to pick up one later to extend your journey before you have to recall. Mm -hmm. I I don't I'm not that good. So. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna do bring all assistants. I, I always back. recall all. I mean, that's just how I do it. Okay, so. I got an encounter. So I'm starting an encounter. Where are you? you where, oh, you went back to the fountain. Oh, yeah. No, your encounter is good. You should be able to just pick a resource of your choice with that one. Oh, I'll, oh but I have to pay with one, though. Did it pay two coins? Hmm? Uh, I can either pay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can pay two coins or pay from a ring, meat fabric, a bowl of pistachios, or a basket in the shape of a pineapple. Meat fabric. Everybody likes meat fabric. It tastes like meat. I'm a vegetarian. Oh. Everybody does not like meat fabric. <laughs> uh, I'll just go with one of the meat fabrics. I'm going to discard one of those. But I have a full set. So look at that. Nice. Rolling which also, in it. Which also means I can get the ruby to the right of me from the guy who wants one of everything plus one other one. Oh, does it now? How convenient for... Look at me planning. Yeah. It's not going to do much, but I, I'm making it sound like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to go break my family member out of jail. I'm going to go send my family member here to the post office. So see, by breaking my family member out of jail, mm -hmm. I get to send them to wherever I want, and then I get to take that action. So I'm going to take the post office action, which gets me the blue resource that I desperately wanted, and some coins. Three coins. Look at that. Heck yeah. Now look at it. Now the post office is like four. And actually now you can go capture my guy, get that benefit, get a blue, get a red. But you're full up, so never... No. No, you're not full up. Actually, that's a good move for you. That is a good move. And it's... You're welcome. But here's the thing. is the trade-off. For the space to my right, will that will that change? If like you can obviously go grab that next, and I'm pretty sure that you are because you are you have enough resources to get to get everything right there. So will that change once you've accessed it? It will. It'll get more expensive. Uh, but I'm not paying. Um, uh, that's the thing. Either I go for the short. Let's see. Uh, it's, it's almost it's, like it's a good game. It's a sure thing if I get it right now and I have the resources for it, and then I can re-up with the post office on my next turn because it's two spaces away anyway. Hmm. Mm. And it's, it's look at it this way. I can't get back to the post office from where I am. True. So I, I'm not threatening to, to sweep in before you can get back there necessarily. Well, I, I got the ruby. I went ahead and figured... A ruby in the hand beats two in the bush. That is exactly how that saying goes. Isn't it though? Mm, no. I, no. I, I like this game now that I'm understanding like the flow of it a little bit more. Totes, right? It's that's that's totally how it goes. That's pretty cool. Son of a nutcracker! I rolled a four. I went to the tea house to get some coin, and I rolled a ding dang four. Huh. You can afford to buy another world. Oh, you you already upgraded. And you have no, 10 not. coins. I got 10 coins. I have not upgraded. Oh, you did not upgrade. I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought you did. All right. Um, I'm going to go capture your family member. Grab some resources in the post office. Yeah, man. I'll uh, stop this encounter. Maybe. All right. If I can either get get a bonus. The, the feather cards are bonus cards, right? The feather car, cards with the feather on them? Yeah. 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 So that's the dilemma. Three coins. Or to take your your friend back to jail, <laughs> or the bonus car. I don't know what to do. What would you do? <laughs> I'm asking. I would go. I would. I would send the family member back to jail. But I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing it out of the way. I'm just picking the reward I get, aren't I? Or no? For the. Because it's basically saying either take a bonus card, 
or oh. get take three coins. Oh, I think yeah. take the coin. I think take the, the money. Coin. Take the coin. Yeah, I think the money. It's, yeah. Sorry, family member. You don't don't apologize when you're not actually sorry. <laughs> it's very rude. It, it, seriously, <laughs> it's insincere. I, I I I'm not yeah I'm not feeling it. All right, I'm gonna go back up to the Great Mosque. I'm gonna take my assistant back, and I have the resources to buy an extra assistant. So now I have more assistants than you do. And you got the coin. And the coin, the the ruby. Oh, I said coin. And I got the ruby. Fancy that. All right, I I'm going to purchase an oh. Yeah. All right, well, I, well, we have to. One of us has to purchase these upgrades at some point, right? For this wheelbarrow, because it's not gonna, it's not gonna wheelbarrow itself. It, it, it that, I always say that. Yeah. Uh, well, I gotta get this thing started. So I'll leave one of you here to upgrade this wheelbarrow, even though you have nothing to put in it. <laughs> we'll be ready. So, um. Just so you know, mm -hmm. I hate you. Why? Because I wanted to go there this turn. Oh, so you you literally can't go there this I turn. I can go there, but I I'd have to pay you. You have to pay me what? If I'm gonna do that, you have to pay me two coins to go there, right? I'm not giving you Jack. Who is Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a Nutcracker! The other place I want to go, the neutral merchant, the aggro merchant is. Oh yeah, right above it. Yeah. I am in a bad, bad, bad position because of you. So I'm angry. That, you wouldn't like it. That neutral merchant is just sit like they're oh, not even doing heck anything. Yeah, I finally rolled well at the tea house. How'd you get all the way back over to the tea house? Because I didn't want to pay the neutral merchant or you. Oh, I need some more stuff. <laughs> I always say that. I need some. More stuff like I have. Look, you almost have everything. You're missing two spots. Yeah, but I, I mean, I have zero. Oh, I, I guess I do have that one ruby. I forgot. I have the audacity to have a third uh, a wheelbarrow upgrade and nothing to put in it. Oh, uh, endless do? weeping forever for you. That's right. Uh, what am I gonna do here? Right, why am I paying this person? I guess I have to. Uh, what do I need most? Let's take. Let's get some meat fabrics. Oh boy. Uh, I have to roll the black market, right? I don't have an option, or do I? Is it, is, is, I don't, I don't, oh, it says plus. So I'm doing one, so I'm taking that, and then I roll. Yeah, yeah. You get a red, green, or yellow of your okay, choice, and then on. you roll. And if you roll, the better you. Yeah, you can get zero, which just happened to me earlier in this game. Come on. I gotta get seven or better. Come on, justify my life. Yes! <laughs> I got one. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy for okay, you. Okay, it's letting me re-roll. Why, why is it, why, why can I do that? Um, do you have a card that gives you a re-roll? No, because you have the you have the small mosque. So that red tile offers you the ability to re-roll if you want. As many times as I want. To. No, I don't, it's just once. Does it cost me anything to do it? Not with that red tile. Oh, but I also have an option to turn one of the, die, the dice to four. Yes, that's that's what the red one does. That's right. It turns it into four. But it's offering me both options, though. You have a card that lets you reroll, and one that lets me. Well, no, I, it's, they're both red mosque things. Oh, okay. Well, then pick what you want to do. Uh, I kind of feel like I should roll one to turn one to four. See, that's I'm halfway there. I don't know. I can't see what you rolled. So yeah, if the math works out, like that, you can tick it up and uh... get. Let's, Another blue resource. You should do that. Let's throw caution to the wind. And I got you, 10. Look at wild that. Man. Wow. That was a great turn. I should just stop here. It's not going to get any better than that. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Have you ever played a game called uh, Mixtape Mayhem or Mixtape Madness? You play like different like fake slasher characters like Chucky. Uh-uh, like, I haven't played that. It's a board game. It's pretty cool. And you can go on a killing spree. So you roll a die and like depending on how many dives you get, you can win comp you know, win confrontations with like the people you're killing as one of the, the killers or other killers you're squaring off against. Okay, I'm going back to jail and I'm sending my family member out 
to upgrade my wheelbarrow. So your family member can go anywhere. Anywhere. With, literally. Oh, that's pretty. And see, I couldn't get to the wheelbarrow from where I was, but I could get back to jail. And thanks to you, since you sent my family member back to jail, I could get back you to jail. to send and get them, them anywhere. Now, my family member's out there again for you to send back and get that bonus. So by sending them back out, I give you a bonus again. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I needed that wheelbarrow space. So there you go. No, I'm confused about... Oh, no. Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, what am I going to do here? Let's, let's go get some resources. Let's go get some resources. Let's all go to the resources. Have you seen Shazam yet? Saw it on Friday. What'd you think? Um, well... One of my wife, we went in and she was like, you know, we could just wait for this at like the $4 show. I was like, yeah, we could, but let's go. I liked it, but you can wait. Like, it's not, you can go wait. To, you know, it's not, it's not like, a, it's not like End War. <laughs> like you could, you could wait to see it. It's fun. What's End War? Avengers End War. What's Avengers? End, oh, not End War, End Game, excuse me. Oh, that sounds cool. I've never heard of it. I'm assuming you're pulling my leg. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> wait, what? Like, what is that? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was fun. It just, it's, the thing about Shazam is like, it's, it's PG-13 for a reason. There's a lot yeah. of goofiness in it, but then there's it's parts goofy, of right? it. It's right? It's silly. But then there's some really dark themes and sequences that just like, wow oh, it's a it's a weird juxtaposition of like well we, we just laughing five minutes ago now we're talking about like horrible childhood trauma like you know this is <laughs> yeah it's it, it's a mixed kind of bag it's it's interesting right. interesting because i was thinking about taking my kids who are a little bit younger they really want to uh, see it i do you have a thing about cursing there's not a whole lot of it but there's some uh, they understand grown-up words Okay, so you so you're good. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean that, that there's not a whole lot of violence or anything in it, so uh, I'm gonna go with that. And yeah, we'll grab what that did ruby. You do? I went ahead and grabbed that ruby. <laughs> I'm sure. trying here. <laughs> ah! All right. All this means is you're a really good teacher, Suzanne. That's all that that's, means. That's that's right. <laughs> that's... I mean, it would be awful if I like. I don't think I'm going to win. I'm just trying with a little bit that I know. I'm I'm trying to just stay one behind you, so I only lose by one. That's my goal right now. Okay, in the top row, second from the left, there are uh -huh. two neutral merchants. Tell oh, me they that's... cancel each other out. <laughs> I... Oh, darling, no. <laughs> Why would you think that? What are you supposed to do? Have a lot of money, honey. Good God. Send family member. Okay. I'm, this jail thing is kind of great. You know, you know, for jail. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to send you out. Get some of that money. Start earning some of that key. Yeah, well, that's I paid for. I paid fifteen for that ruby, so it got mine got more expensive. You just wow, yeah, you did. You have one coin now. Although this game is like has no music when you play with someone else, this is it's, really it, I, yeah. I don't know what to tell you on that one. I I haven't done this like this before, so has this company ported other? Is this like their first digital port to the Switch? It might be to the Switch. It might be. I don't. Yeah, because, I mean, they've done plenty of iOS kind of mobile and Steam stuff, but I don't know about the... Yeah, that's a good point. I think so. Um, What am I going to do now? Take it easy on me and let me win? I don't... Is that, was that an option? I don't I would, we would never want to do that because you, you want to win through sheer cunning and brilliance. Speaking of that, have you been seeing this whole debate online about people asking for easy modes and games that... Yeah, I have, actually. Uh, what is your take on it? 
Uh, my take is that I am a big fan of it. I think that it is great for accessibility concerns, and I think it is great for people like myself that play casually and are willing to spend money. I'm willing to buy the game for the same price, and um, I I don't I just want to enjoy the experience. So I think. From my perspective, I think it's a win-win from a developer's point of view. I think it opens up uh, your game to multiple new avenues of purchase and revenue. And I think it's awesome. I, I wish more people thought the way you did. I'm sort of taken aback by the number of people who have this whole, you're not experiencing the game the way they wanted you to. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> Like, I, your whole point yeah, is like I, you spent money on it. You want to have the whole point is to enjoy yourself. That's yeah, the whole thing. I, don't get me wrong. Like I am totally happy for competitive professional esport gaming. That's you cool. You got playing hard mode. Yeah. You, you gotta. You gotta do it. You gotta bring it. And I am totally aces with that. Um. I don't want to be judged because I like because I want to enjoy like a story or something else, and I don't want to like beat my head against the wall. Yeah. I think that, but I, I think, you know, if you, if you want bragging rights, hey, I beat it on ultra uber hard mode and had a perfect speed run or whatever. Go for you, it. Somebody finishing the game on easy mode doesn't actually take away from that. Um, hey, I finished the game on easy mode is a different statement than I finished it on super uber hard mode. And nobody would disagree that achieving it on a more difficult setting is a greater gameplay accomplishment. Um, and I think just, I mean, let's nuts and bolt it in the capitalist world that we live in. There are games like, honestly, there are games where they're marketed like ultra hard, super difficult platformer. I won't even consider buying it because I don't have the time to invest in building up my skill level mm -hmm. to enjoy that gameplay. And that's so, okay. That's completely okay. And, and that's okay. fine. And, and that's to that point, it's fine for me not to buy it. And kudos to the people who do play it well and can, you know, and want to do that. But from the, the maker's point of view, if they can throw in 20% more development effort, 15% more development effort to create a, a more accessible, you know, simpler, straightforward, easier gameplay mode and present that all of a sudden have they, how much more have they opened it up their market for sales? Exactly. How many more people are more interested in buying it? Yeah. It, it, it Financially. It makes sense. It makes sense. They make more money. They're able to they're able to stay in business and make more games. I, I to me I to me I read a lot of it as this like this machismo of I did I'm better than you and I don't like the way I don't like the way you play games. I, I don't I that's what I read into it. And maybe 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 that's unfair. I, it just sounds to me like just I'm just better. And it's like you don't you don't have to come across like that. Like people it's like people enjoy stuff. That's but. That's why and, you play and, games. Yeah, and, and uh, me being bad at games, but still playing the same game you play doesn't take away from you being a good at a game. Exactly. You know? Yeah. You, I, hey, guess what? You kick my butt at that game. You are better than me. Yep. But I have I no like qualms about, exactly. And I guess people are saying, well, you know, why dictate to a creator what they, nobody's dictating. People are saying what they would like. Nobody can demand that From Software makes their games easier. None of us can do that. People, no. if you ask me, I'd be like, well, would I like a Dark Souls that's more accessible? Sure. But that's not going to happen. I'm okay with that. But me wanting it is not a bad thing. Sure. Well, and I think for me, and maybe it's selfish, I think there's a difference between me saying, gee, I wish this was more accessible to somebody saying, screw you if you can't you know, get good. Yeah. I mean, they're both opinions, and I'm not saying that you can't say that, but from a, a, again, from a purely business point of view, that I don't believe in speaking from the perspective of having worked in advertising for 15 years, working for Fortune 50 companies, the, the, the brand cachet of only creating uber hard games that only hardcore gamers can ever even touch there's there's no there's not enough market value in that brand persona or that brand cachet yeah. 
yeah. to make it worth the RO like there's just no ROI for a company to do that true yeah you, ha you have to be thinking about how you expand or how you charge the people you already have three times as much <laughs> which may or may not work <laughs> yeah it's it's um I am definitely all about more people playing games precisely and yeah, you know, we have that in board games. I mean, I think that's largely been a video game uh, discussion, but we have elitism and yeah. in, in board games too, there's definitely a contingent of people that feel like longer, more complex games are somehow more meaningful, more important, somehow establish you as a more qualified or better gamer than people who choose not to play those types of games. Um, and I, I think that the tone and intent is very similar to what we were just talking about in video games. And I don't like it in board games. And I feel like it's a, a very poor attitude and I don't like seeing it. I feel bad when I see it, um, because it's, it's so unnecessary. Yeah, it is. I didn't realize you upgraded your wheelbarrow to all. You have all of it. I didn't realize that. Not yet. I don't. I got one more to go. Oh, you, okay. I, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it went to the right of that line. I'm yeah, liking, yeah. The mosques are on the far left. Okay, I've just been noticing. I've been narrating very well for anybody who's watching this. But um, when you go to the places like in the lower right corner, just to max out resources, if you press the uh, left on the D-pad, you can just spend coins and buy any other resource. Which is great. Yeah. Istanbul, I mean, you have to remember, Istanbul is is a Kennerspiel winner for a reason, right? It's it's a it's a it's a nifty nifty game. And you played the actual analog version. I you... love it. Yep. Okay. It is in my top fifty I did a like a couple of years ago I did a top fifty games video series and it's in my top fifty. Uh, I, 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 love I watched it. You did? <laughs> I watched it, yeah. So I've, I've been like board game hungry. Like, I don't know what is. I guess it's because something that I can just get, my kids are really excited about them. And, you know, my wife would always say, you know, there's too many screens on. So I've really started getting in a lot more board games and things. So, which I think is win win. I, the kids and I love it. She plays sometimes, but then, you know, I don't have to hear about you're looking at a screen because I'm not. <laughs> We're playing a board game. <laughs> We're looking at each other. So. And having a great time, so that that's. I think that's wonderful. You really do. Oh, Aaron, I'm I'm. Let's, let's look at look at that. Whoa, Boom! Whoa, 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 what, what what? I don't know. I don't know. We may just have been. I may have just pulled neck and neck with you in the race. You may have just screwed me over for what I was trying to do with that very same vendor. That's what you might have Oops. done. Oops! Oh, uh. I'm so sorry. I oh there's no undo I can't undo it so uh, I, I doubt you would even if you could. <laughs> shh, shh. Oh boy, wait a minute, I can't move there. Oh, I don't have any assistance. Oh, ow, assistant management. I'm not now if only it. you had that card that would let you call an assistant back to you. Oh, yeah, I didn't buy that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I gotta do. Now, I will say that you know we had some fiddliness in getting this stream set up and getting our account set up. And one of the nice things about you had said, well, why don't they just use the Nintendo Online? I mean, the nice thing about Akram having their own online system is that then for people who don't pay for Nintendo Online, they can mm -hmm. still play Istanbul Online against each other. Oh. So that's the benefit of not using the Nintendo proprietary system. I thought you had to have it. I don't know. I don't think so. Not to not to play against you. Not. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but once we got the game set up, I mean, I think it plays really well. I'm. I think that this is playing very smoothly. Yeah. Um, it's not not a whole lot's going on. <laughs> it's not like it's rapidly setting up, but it is. It does work. You can make a room, yeah. a private room. And I got to figure out, I don't want to give up a resource. I'm trying to take resources. Oh, I can't. They're killing me. Okay, I can't do any of this. So, no, I can't. 
Well, I can, but I have to, though. I yeah, don't know. That's how know. I felt last turn. I felt that way last turn. I felt really boxed <sighs> in. and was like I didn't have any great choices. I yeah, because I, I, I need the money for the wheelbarrow. If I give them the money now, then how do I get the wheelbarrow? Mm. I don't think get I... Get good, Aaron. Get good. <laughs> wow. After our whole discussion, you would tell me to get good. <laughs> hey, you Ooh. know... Hypocrisy is my my hobby too. So, uh, the, the, the encounter on here is what makes it stink. I don't want to give anything up. All right. Well, if I pay with this, I can recoup some of it on the way. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Choices. Oh, you recalled, huh? Yeah. I, I still haven't really gotten good at going around. Oh, the the pathing is is yeah, I get it. All right, I am taking all that juicy goodies over there. I will start that encounter. There's juice in this game. <laughs> it's the first I hey, heard. Hey, if there's meat fabric, there can be juice. Meat I'm gonna take fabric. A, I'm gonna take a blue resource, and I'm gonna give up. A meat fabric resource. And I'm going to end my turn. You really made that ruby like dumb expensive. <laughs> like, it is ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh the my game gosh. did it. Gosh, like that is <laughs> so expensive. Cast blame where it belongs, Aaron. Whew. That's, that's something else. All right, let's upgrade this thing. All right, start encounter. Uh, take a card, take three coins. Since I have no coins, I'll take three coins. And then my turn. All right. You son of a nutcracker. Oh, I don't like you. You're welcome. <laughs> Why? See, I'm, I'm see? just as upgraded as you are. You, what's, what's, what's the problem? What? Oh, don't even. Don't play that game with me. You know. You know what you did. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. Okay, roll. Yes. Uh, okay. You're going to get out of my way is what you're going to do next. I probably will. <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> I'm, I'm not you're even going to... You're saying you don't want to stay. <laughs> uh, what, am I, what was my next move? I need, I need that ruby. Give me that ruby. Uh, I'll be inter really interested to hear from Akram... And, and other companies like Asthma Day Digital who's working to put board games on the Switch. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know from an iOS and Android point of view, they've been doing very well for them overall. And it it really helps open up a market. Um, I'm interested to see how they do on Switch and if people, like, is this... Cause Istanbul is a reasonably complex game. There's a lot going on. There is. I need. That's why I called in an expert because um, I need the help. And so, is somebody going to stumble upon this and pick it up? And I, one of the things I, you know, there are a lot of very, there are a lot of people who are very anti-app games in the board gaming world, right? They, they're like, oh, I play board games to get away from a screen and all this other stuff. You're dumbing it down. Um. <laughs> oh. No. What? Oh yes. Okay, never mind. Um oops, no, I don't want to go there. Um But I think that I'm very obviously I'm very pro digital and I think one of the greatest things board game apps can can do is expose the world of board gaming to digital gamers. I'm I'm curious to see It works both ways. Like I love Mystic Veil vale on Steam, so I bought Mystic Veil. Vale. <laughs> Yeah, oh no, I mean absolutely digital games. Oh whoa, look at look at that. Did I just get that Ruby? Wait, what? No. What have you done? Oh, I don't know. I just lucked into it. Oh mm, lucky you. <laughs> mm. 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 Um No, and, and that's absolutely I've heard that from app developers and from publishers that people do discover the game through the app and then pick up the, the physical game. I've absolutely heard that from publishers. And that, that, that yeah, I, I've experienced it because sitting down with somebody and beating the crap out of them in a, in a game on a table is awesome. Yeah. Look them right in their eyes as you rip their, their still beating heart out of their chest and show it to them. 
This is what I did to you. Yes, now go to bed. I love you. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> wow. That got dark. Just a little bit. You're I'm playing. rolling in it. Look at all that money, honey. Yeah. Wow. So I'm assuming you're going to be swinging back around to pick up another ruby for 16 16 dollars or 16 coins excuse me i'm not too worried about i mean you're not gonna get that many times <laughs> no no i'm not yeah that kind of stinks this is why people see like i'm just not a nice person i'm so sorry no that's cool i'm, I'm learning how to play the game that, that's really what's it's really what this is about so i can play it efficiently now, is this the kind of game like your family would enjoy i know one of your kids is a little younger but yeah, the youngest is older? is nine so she you know if, if if i showed her the rules and everything she would definitely pick up on it uh, do i have to do the smuggler encounter you don't have to you can skip it you should be able to skip it no it's not letting me <laughs> oh where i don't know which one that is no, this, this is the tea house it's not letting me uh oh, yeah. oh really yeah it's making can you just me trade it for one can you just trade same for same oh, let's see uh i'm gonna take what am i gonna take take a pineapple and pay with a pineapple <laughs> which doesn't but means nothing so that yeah yeah i I don't know if that was even smart. <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea, honestly. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, that was probably pretty dumb what I just did. But yeah, here we are. Like you said, you are learning. But not at least it's... I know what stuff is. Like, I don't know what the jail like, jail. What? Like, the tutorial isn't bad. It's just nothing means anything until you do it. Totally, and it, it's a it's a it's a complex. I don't know what I want to do here. Um, let me win. <laughs> no, okay. You don't want me to let you win. You want to earn it. Oh, you have wait a minute. Twenty-five coins. This is crazy. It, it's not. It's it's not crazy. The most I've had is what, like nine. Well, you just have to go to um, the large market. And sell a crap ton of resources. But you got to the point where you earned all the ones you could reasonably earn already. I just save up a bunch of resources and then I chose to spend them down there. So now I'm resource light, but cash wealthy. Ah, I can't do that crap. Uh... I think a lot of the appeal in Istanbul is its limitations. Mm hmm. You know, you're going to find you have those moments, right? Of, oh, I can't do that, and you want to. But it's the right kind of limit. I don't know. Yeah, I know I've been depending on this fountain, like, way too much. Because I'm, I'm not good with assistant management. So but this is essentially, like, your first real game, right? Yeah, I played the AI and got beaten. I, I earned a couple of rubies. I mean, I got, like, two or three, but I would still lose. Still learning experience, but not quite as good as this one. Oh, it just like made my controller vibrate. Like, hey, you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, step it up. <laughs> you know I mean? like, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, I may as well go well, for the gusto. I track my gameplays. I use the board game stats app to track. I don't track digital plays, but I track, um, you know, physical, real life game really? plays. Yeah. Uh, if nothing else, I have a really bad memory. And because I do a board game podcast, sometimes I'll, what did I play? I can't remember. And I have to go check my, I, oh yeah, okay, I remember that. Um, and I, of, of all the games I've, win, uh, I've played, I have a 29% win rate. Is that so, good or bad? No, I, that's probably pretty bad. I I lose the vast I I lose two oh, that's me. games I, I play. When I win, I get excited because I like never win. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I think the the for me the lesson really is I don't 
I don't have to win a game to enjoy it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If I if that was my criteria, I would hate every game. <laughs> I'm sending you back to jail. Oh, you caught my family member? I caught him. So what did you get and what was your reward? I took three coin. Oh, okay. All right. So if I do... How many do I need here to do this? No, can't do it. So I need to hit, hit the post office, re up. Yeah, you can't buy anything extra from the post office. That's why I like the the, uh, the max stores because you can buy other resources, at least like one. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah. Cause we're done. We're all done with upgrades. I'm fully upgraded, so I'm good on that front. Alrighty. Um, Where are you? Because I feel like. It, okay, well, I know you're not getting a thing from there. You can't afford to buy one from there. You don't have. Look at you mapping out my turns like yeah. you're. You, geez, Louise. You can't do upper left corner. You can't do the guy selling them because you don't. Well, you're one coin off, so. <laughs> but, and then you don't have enough resources for the other guy. Yeah, so I broke my family member out of jail. We're going to do some crime. Hey, look at that planning uh what am i gonna do here i guess i could go over here and get a little something and we're gonna choose a no don't want that nope 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 okay <laughs> out shows the wrong resource where did my little icon go what just happened oh there we go all right, fill in all those blanks, and then we're going to use that. We probably just ticked off a bunch of gamers, all mad at us for saying that we think accessibility and easy modes are good. Oh, I've been doing that on Twitter, like just you know, just saying like common sense, decent things. Like, like who cares? Like, you you cheated to beat the game? Oh man. It's nothing to do with you. <laughs> like, what do you care if somebody cheated for? Did they have fun? Great. <laughs> Remember, like, um, uh -oh, the Game Shark for the Game Boy? Oh, do you yeah. remember that? I remember Game Genie. All Game Genies, things. like, all those things. Like, oh, I was. Those are great. I remember, too, like, cheat codes would be published in video game magazines, like Nintendo Power and stuff like that. And. Those were always, I remember thinking those were fun when I was a kid, you, cause you felt like you were. Okay, you're about to end the game, aren't you? Cause you have 21 coins yeah. and you're about to go right sorry. down there and kill it. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I finished what you were saying, excuse me. Sorry. No, no, but no. yeah, I mean, I, I like it, it, it was fun. Like you felt like you were, I don't know. Cheat codes used to be yeah. a cool thing. Like when the new Resident Evil 2 came out, I started playing it again on the N64, and there were codes for invincibility and uh, unlimited weapons, limited ammo. I just want to just beat the game. I just want to experience the game again with like no pressure. It was great. Who cares? I beat it before, but it doesn't even matter. I just wanted fun. What I should have done was I should have gotten the pineapple from here, my way back up to the upper left corner, used four pineapple to complete everything else for that one, and then gotten the ruby. I should have. If I had a path fight it, I could have done well. <laughs> you 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 did just fine. Oh. There you go. I think that's respectable. So you... I absolutely. This game is great. I like this game. Oh good. I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to to show me. I do appreciate that. Absolutely, my pleasure. It's uh, spreading the love of Istanbul. Is I'm I'm great, and thank you because now I I figured out how to do it online on um the Switch, and that's something I didn't know how to do before. So yeah. thank you. And once we can use Pro controllers on the title screen, everything will be great. <laughs> <laughs> They're working on it. They're working on it. Yeah, they'll they'll get to it. But uh, well, thank you, Suzanne, very much. Uh, I'd like to play again at some point. For um, sure, I'll we got practicing. other games to play for sure. Oh, we gotta do Mystic Veil vale on Steam. We do. We do. That's actually my cell phone. I probably get this, but uh, thank you very much, and um, until the next time.
Sounds awesome. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.